Housemaid of Dawn is a 1968 novel by Native American author N. Scott Mamaday. A member of the indigenous Kiowa tribe, Mamaday draws from his experience living on reservations in the American West, particularly Jemez Pueblo in New Mexico. The story begins shortly after World War II, following a protagonist, Abel, whose identity fixes him at the margins of normative American culture. Torn between his desire to fully integrate into mainstream America and his will to retain his roots, Abel struggles to make his way in the world, becomes addicted to alcohol, and commits grave crimes. Through Abel's experiences, Housemaid of Dawn paints a sympathetic portrait of the systemic injustices to which indigenous peoples are subjected. The novel won the 1969 Pulitzer Prize for fiction and is widely considered one of the foremost works of 20th century, Native American literature. The novel is divided into four parts. In part one, The Long Hair, Abel returns to his reservation after several years fighting in World War II. Traumatized and on the edge of a breakdown, he is unable to recognize his own grandfather, Francisco. Francisco used to be a well-respected hunter and religious man who actively participated in the reservation ceremonies. He took care of Abel after his mother and older brother died. Francisco did his best to impart Abel with Kiowa traditions and values but largely failed to connect with him. Francisco thinks of this inaccessible past world as a house made of dawn, beautiful, but insubstantial and transient. Now, Francisco is old and has lost the use of a leg. The town minister, Father Olguin, connects Abel with a job opportunity chopping wood for a wealthy white woman, Angela St. John, who has traveled to the area to rejuvenate in its springs. Unhappy with her life back home, Angela busies herself by hitting on Abel. She offers to help him find a job outside the reservation, causing Abel to reflect on the seeming pointlessness of reservation life. Accepting that he has never called the reservation home, he yearns to leave it. His effort to escape is abruptly cut short when he faces off against a local albino Indian, Juan Reyes, in a horsemanship game. Abel suffers a psychotic episode, declares that Juan is a witch, and murders him outside a local bar. He is convicted of murder and sent to prison. Part 2, The Priest of the Sun, takes place six years later in Los Angeles. Recently out of jail, Abel connects with a local network of Indians. The local leader, Priest of the Sun, Rev. John Big Bluff Tasama, calls Abel a long hair, a pejorative term meaning that he clearly struggles to integrate with mainstream American society. Abel also meets a kind man from a New Mexico reservation, Ben Benali, and starts a romance with a social worker named Millie. Still, Abel is unable to find a decent job or feel secure in Los Angeles. He gets into a drunken fight and nearly dies, ending up on a beach outside the city. Memories of the war and his past crimes resurface and overwhelm him. Abel manages to compose himself enough to leave the beach for his apartment. Part 3, The Night Chanter, begins after Ben gets Abel on a train back to his reservation. Ben recounts what happened to Abel in the city that made it necessary to leave. During a poker game, Reverend Tasama made fun of him, stirring up a fight. Too drunk to do anything about it, Abel drank constantly for two days and missed his next work shift. When he finally made it to work, his boss scolded him and Abel angrily quit. Abel continued to binge drink, relying on money borrowed from Ben and Millie. When Abel failed to turn around his behavior, Ben kicked him out. Abel then directed his anger at a corrupt police officer, Martinez, who once robbed Ben. Abel confronted Martinez and almost died when he tried to fight. While he recovered in the hospital, Ben called Angela, who traveled to Los Angeles to comfort Abel. She told him a story about a bear and a maiden that happened to mirror an old Navajo story. Angela's presence lifted Abel's spirits considerably. Part 4, The Dawn Runner, begins as Abel arrives at the reservation. His grandfather is about to die. Abel takes care of him while he tells Abel stories from his childhood. Francisco exhorts Abel to remember the traditions of his people. When Francisco dies, Abel dresses him in his funerary clothes and marks himself with ashes. At sunrise, Abel begins to run, observing the race of the dead that marks a loved one's passing. He sings for himself and Francisco, feeling as though he is returning to his people and his true place among them. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.